special podcast, Vibration and Intent. I'm calling this a special podcast because, if I can articulate it well, hopefully, this just has great uh, resonance to me. Um, I think it's one of the most important topic ideas that I've ever thought about or talked about, and uh, I'll try to explain why. So, there's a notion called harmonic resonance, which means that um, when you strike a a chord, like a A chord on a piano, another piano A chord will vibrate if it's in the vicinity, even though you haven't struck that. It just is stimulated by the vibration in the air. It is basically the basis um, analogously for the law of attraction that we are a result of our thinking and our thinking is basically a reflection of our vibration that if we're very loving, we attract a lot of love in our life. That, again, this is not a blame thing. I've talked about this elsewhere because uh, good, uh, bad things do happen to good people. There's a lot of different reasons for it. I mean, you could listen to some of my other podcasts, my views on it because that's a whole major topic in itself. But harmonic resonance states that we attract or we vibrate um, in string theory, which is the major theory of the universe now of how it's constructed, is basically the same thing, saying that every object is just a vibration, a different vibration, that, you know, a tree is a certain vibration, obviously there's many different kinds of trees, a rock is a certain vibration, hydrogen is a certain vibration, oxygen is a certain vibration, and our universe is just created out of these different vibrations. The law of attraction says the same thing, that, um, that uh, our lives are just a reflection of our our vibrations of energy that we have. As I was trying to say before, if we're very loving, then we attract a lot of love. And if we are very angry, we attract a lot of anger. Again, I would refer people, if you're interested, to you know, my po- podcast about why bad things happen to good people because too many people use the law of attraction to try to blame or justify um, other people, which is really wrong. You should never blame anyone for anything, and you shouldn't blame yourself either. I talk about that. I mean, that's my view. I'm sorry I have a little bit of a scratchy throat today. I'm a little bit under the weather. but um, And the idea of intent is, in, is applied to vibration because two people can have the same actions um, but have totally different intent. And your intent, like, in the Bible, it says, I'm not sure if it's in the Bible, but it's, I've heard it said before that, you know, God knows our heart and that our hearts will be made born out and known. Um, or they say, like, when you go to heaven that, you know, everything is revealed, basically. And intent, I think, is intrinsic to that because when we do things out of a loving intent, it's transformative. Like, of course, a miracle says that our natural state is love and that love is miraculous and the cause of miracles and that when miracles are not happen, happening, that something is wrong. And um, I'm losing my train of thought a little bit, but intent, oh yeah, so two two actions could have, uh, the same actions could have different intent. Like, there's a famous uh, play, um, uh, I think it's Les Miserables, but don't quote me if I'm wrong, that um, Jean Valjean, he gets arrested for stealing the loaf of bread. And uh, there's a, there was an online version of a similar movie, I think it might be The Fugitive, uh, where um, in that case, the guy wasn't even guilty. Uh, he said, he turned around at the guy chasing him, or maybe he had done a small thing. Um, no, I don't, can't remember. And he says, I'm not guilty. And the guy chasing him says, I don't care. So in this world, a lot of times, we, we, we you know, we, we misinterpret uh, legality with justice. I mean, following the law is incredibly, 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 incredibly important. You know, because we're a nation of laws and a civilization of laws. Um, but justice is even much more important because, like, in Jean Valjean, you know, he stole a loaf of bread, but he stole it for his family. I mean, it was more just for him to steal the loaf of bread than it was for 
um, to prosecute him. And that's a rare exception because 99.9999% of the time, I think, um, you know, it's it's more just that, that people follow the law. I mean, laws are here for a reason. And again, you know, I'm, I'm a big kind of, not crime and punishment type person, but I'm a big, you know, do the right thing and, and, and uh, you know, don't take shortcuts and follow the law type type individual. Um, so the overriding message and why I think it's so important is that the world is really just a reflection of our own mindset and our own thinking and our own heart. You know, they say the heart is even more important or the soul because it gives rise to our thinking and our feeling and that in the law of attraction is one example. If we think something, it has power because the the world is manifested as a reflection of our thinking, but if we feel deeply about the thing that we're thinking, then it even has many times more or much greater impact or power. So you kind of are a very powerful person. We all are because we create, uh, just think about your relationships and either good or bad things that you've, uh, not bad, but, you know, mistakes people have made or whatever. Like we realize sometimes that we had, you know, different thinking limitations that created our limitations in our life. Like maybe we were jealous or maybe we were petty or maybe we were mean. And the significance also of this idea is that I want to state is that intent is the most important thing in the world almost because, um, you know, we're sent here or we come here, I believe, to kind of evolve in personal growth and be of service to others and a servant mentality and our intent in doing that is everything that uh, is uh, known about that and, and demonstrated about that. And that's why there's a famous expression that says, you know, well done, my good and faithful servant, that if we're true to our mission, if we're true to our highest calling, if we have pure intent, then um, we've done what we were called to do and we uh, are, are functioning at our highest level of vibration, our, our greatest good, our highest self.